Hey guys, Saucy here. Um, just wanted to go over some changes that are going to be happening in 8.1, uh, mainly for Warlocks, obviously. Uh, but I will be going over some things that will affect some of us as uh, most of us do play uh, Troll. Well, those of us that, that raid, I suppose. But, <clears throat> alright, so Troll Zerking is reduced to 10% haste for 12 seconds, down from 15 and 10. However, um, it's still pretty strong, obviously the, the 2 second duration increase. But the, the fact that it's 15 now means that, um, you know, it's going to make Blood Elf as well as Orc very strong contenders as, uh, for PvE. Um, but we'll see how everything pans out once it actually uh, goes live and, and we can um, sim it. Alright, uh, other things. In terms of PvE, the changes are right here. It looks like uh, Affliction will be getting a small nerf, but... It'll be all right, you know. The they're still topping the meters for the most part, and the nerf I don't think will be so severe that they they'll lose their place. Um, that is to say, though, that Destro probably will be topping the meters now, but we're we're gonna see. Um, I personally play Destro; I prefer it for raids. Um, but I guess the the logs will answer that in due time, right? Okay. So uh, all warlocks have demonic embrace passive stamina increased by 10% uh, I think that's gonna be pretty huge especially with the damage increase from your pets um, <clears throat> I don't know how if that'll scale or anything for in specific for for more sacrifice but uh, I hope so for my affliction spec that I do sometimes play in PvP um, I think it's pretty strong especially with inevitable demise but we're gonna see how that changes since inevitable demise is getting reworked um, Speaking of, Inevitable Demise uh, is now triggered by Agony, was Corruption, and up to 50 stacks instead of 100. Now, I still do have 390 pieces, but I I'm not sure how that's going to impact, you know, the, the basically 3 second, you know, insta-kill of anybody. Um, in terms of Demo, I'm not necessarily sure how this, I mean, is a, is a good amount of increases for, for their... Um, I'm sorry. For their um for their damage. But um you know, I, I don't play enough demonology to, to to really tell you if it's gonna be as uh I guess alpha spec as uh the other two uh affliction and destruction, but we're gonna see here in a little bit. Um the main differences are gonna be unstable affliction reduced by nine percent. And then Rain of Fire uh, increased to 40 yards, plus 35. That's not really that huge. Um, but for PvP, scrolling down here, this is going to be huge. Uh, Cruel Curse of Weakness now reduced attack power, was physical damage uh, by 30%, was 25. That's going to be great. But new PvP talent, Demon Armor, is coming back, increasing maximum health by 10%. So if you play with a priest, I mean, that'd be pretty good. Um, as well as armor by 125. I think that's going to help huge with uh, the amount of gladiator warlocks we're going to have in the top uh, top of the arena um, ladders. Mostly for from what I've seen, I, I scrolled through literally just to, to see you know if maybe I was doing something wrong or I was playing incorrectly. But there really isn't that many warlocks up there. I mean, I, I think Thugonomics was the highest at like uh, 2,800. Um, and you know that's that's not to say that all the other warlocks are, are bad. You know, uh, for example, I personally think Maldiva is very very good. Um, but you know, warlock was just a little bit underpowered because it needed a a defense boost and then obviously some of the other um, classes uh, like the rogues the warriors you know they were, they were a little a little overtuned I think for for this uh, season but thankfully it's, uh, it's good to see that uh, Blizzard decided to correct their error all right um, yeah I mean that basically covers what I'm after in terms of uh, the PvP PvE content for warlocks it, it's good to see that we're getting a buff now hopefully i'll be updating some videos soon um seeing if i can actually get gladiator now well uh, without getting you know basically destroyed in arenas the the arenas i played in it was mostly like just getting tunneled and tunneled and tunneled until i was dead 
and people were blowing defensive cooldowns just to keep me alive all while I couldn't even cast, um, you know, row kicks and shit like that, and obviously their stun locks don't really help. So yeah, um, I'll be uploading a video probably in the next week or so to overview the, the changes in-game, and hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching.